today is run you through how I fish a drop shot for perch. I've got a little box here just with a few of my faves. So that's a Perch Palm Plastics Slim Stick Worm. I've got a little hook tied on, but I don't have a drop shot sinker on yet. Grab the terminal out. I'm gonna go for a quarter ounce. I'm gonna be using um, some pretty long casts today to try and cover a little bit more water. So quarter ounce tungsten drop shot weight and a size one drop shot hook. It's using a Palomar knot. Got about a six inch leader or a dropper. I'm just gonna clip my sinker in like that. And then you can see I've got my hook. Pull the knot around. You can see the hook sits straight up like that, point right into the top of the fish's mouth. And then I've got my slim stick worm. I like to fish them uh, wacky in winter. Just gives them a little bit more suspension, a little bit more hang in that, in that fish's face, a little bit more action on the way down. So you fold your worm over in half, find that middle point, get that hook point right up through the center of the bait like that and the worm sits sort of horizontal to the rig like this <clears throat> catches water as it falls down the weight will pull it it'll create action on the sink and you've got a nice little short shot rig in a boat i'd probably fish a longer rig maybe this long it gives the, the bait a little bit more suspension if you're fishing vertically but we're fishing close to the bottom and it's really shallow so a short rig is is fine that weight will hide itself on the bottom and that bait will just hang naturally in front of the fish's face so the tackle i'm using today is a abu krx two to four kilo i'd normally run a lighter rod for this situation but everything i own is basically packed away so 2500 alx spooled with six pound braid Yet again, I would normally fish maybe a four pound fluorocarbon for this particular technique. I really like fluorocarbon for hook sets um, and at that light size it casts beautifully but it also, if it's a windy day, that fluorocarbon will just hit the water nicely whereas braid will catch and drag that sinker along the bottom which isn't ideal. The hook set on a fluorocarbon you can really go hard, that stretch in the line absorbs a lot of the shock whereas when you're fishing braid you've got to be a little bit more subtle, wind into the bite a little bit more. Anyways. Let's get started. Nice long cast. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Keep that rod tip at, at a high angle around that two o'clock mark. And what that does is keeps the line up, keeps that bait sitting up off the bottom. Just a gentle shake of the rod tip with lots of slack line gives that bait well and truly enough movement. Let it hang in the spot for a few seconds. As it falls to the bottom, it'll get the fish's attention and they'll move over slowly. So it's always good to keep it nice and slow in the spot where it lands and just shake that slack line. A nice bow in the line is always important, I think, with, with drop shot fishing. One, it gives the fish slack to bite the bait and hold onto it without feeling resistance. And two, it just gives that line the ability to shake and move without actually pulling the sinker away from the fish and then when you're ready to move along just catch up with your line and just drag the sinker along the bottom you don't want to pop it up too much just a gentle drag will create a lot of movement a lot of uh, sort of kick up the dust and the, and the dirt and get those fish's attention so I'm just giving that bait its opportunity to hang in their face keeping that rod tip up high and just gently shaking that slack line. Even on slow season like we've got right now, fishing a drop shot, and especially a drop shot worm, is gonna get your bites no matter what. You'll notice I'll keep my hand off the, uh, off the reel handle quite a lot when I'm drop shot fishing, and that's to stop myself from winding it in. You wanna keep it in the zone. Sometimes putting it behind your back can help. <clears throat> and just allowing the movement of the line, the movement of the rod or the wind to, to slowly move the sinker along the bottom rather than popping it up and, and moving it too fast. fish we're looking for but it's uh it's the first perch of the morning and 
first cast in this next along this next weed edge with the wacky rig worm. Let's see if we can get another one. Woo! Sized fish. You can see that worm's just pinned, well, it was pinned just perfectly in the top of the mouth. But it's a good start. We finally started to find a few fish and they are concentrated in this back end um, between two weed beds. So there's got to be a big one down there. We'll keep trying. Big perch on the perch palm. Slim stick worm, wacky rigged on a drop shot. Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> 